You know him from always playing the best friend in shows such as Hey Ghost, Let's Fight, or What's Wrong with Secretary Kim, to now the leading man in extraordinary attorney woo. Life is on the way up for Kang Ki Young. Hello guys, welcome back to K-Drama for Life. In this video, we will find out what happened and what made Kang Ki Young take on the role of his life so far. He was born on October 14, 1983 in Incheon, South Korea. Kang Ki Young actually once dreamed of becoming an ice hockey player when he was in school. He practiced hard but ultimately quit because his small physique at that time was not suitable for this type of heavy contact sport. After giving up on ice hockey, he went to study abroad in the U.S. Upon returning to Korea, he was still unsure of his future. It was not until watching a play in 2003 did he decide to pursue the path of an actor. Kang Ki Young did not mess around, he prepared. This was shown when he brought his own ice hockey uniform and equipment when auditioning for TVN's High School King of Savvy, which tells the stories of ice hockey players. His careful preparation caught the eyes of the director and he made it onto the show. He must have made a positive impact because he also later starred in Oh My Ghost, which was created by the same production team. In 2009, he pursued an acting career on the stage at a relatively late age compared to many of his peers. In 2012, he then began to move into TV series full-time. Always making a strong impression with his humor and mischievous style of acting, Kang Ki Young was on his way to become one of the most famous supporting actors in Korea. After over 10 years of experience, he had now starred in about 20 dramas and 9 films. He was dubbed the most iconic supporting actor in K-dramas. The roles played by the actor mostly do not focus on appearances and mainly exploit the humorous and natural aspects of a character, creating an interesting highlight for the film or show. Because of these things, Kang Ki Young was often invited by directors to play the role of a close friend of either the male or female leads. If his name still doesn't ring a bell, you've probably seen him before in one of the following titles. From a second year resident and close friend to Oh Yun Ju in W, the sweet and funny uncle and weightlifting fairy Kim Bok Ju, a psychopath restaurant owner in While You Were Sleeping, and the closest thing to a best friend to Lee Young Jun in What's Wrong with Secretary Kim, where he was his first kissing scene. With his consistent efforts, he won the award for Best Supporting Actor in a Drama Category at the 2018 NBC Drama Awards and Best Actor Award at the 12th Korean Drama Awards 2019. On July 30th, the Korean Business Research Institute officially announced the brand reputation ranking for TV actors in July, and Kang Ki Young has excellently risen to third place. Now for the big time where his career has really skyrocketed, not only in Korea, but around the world thanks to the power of Netflix. Extraordinary Attorney Woo follows Woo Young Woo, Park Eun-bun, who is extremely smart but also has autism spectrum disorder. She never forgets what she sees but lacks social skills and empathy. Woo Young Woo begins to work as a trainee lawyer at a large law firm. While working there, she faces prejudice and irrationality against her, but she solves cases with her unique perspective and grows as a lawyer under the guidance of Kang Ki Young's character. This series has become a miracle in the K-drama industry as the latest episode of the series recorded a live viewership rating of up to 30.3%, nearly 30 times higher than the first episode. During the broadcast, the average rating of the drama also reached 13.1%, an astonishing number for a new TV station like ENA. It also has consecutively topped Netflix's global top 10 charts in the non-English language TV shows category for two weeks. On top of that, the series ranked number one in the same category in eight countries. Kang Ki Young really had hit the turning point in his 13-year career. Kang Ki Young plays the role of senior lawyer Jung Myung Suk of Hanbara Law Firm. Kang's Myung Suk is a surprisingly pleasant turn compared to K-drama's usual one-dimensional characters that stand next to the main protagonist. At the beginning of the series, Myung Suk doubted the ability of autistic lawyer Woo Young Woo. However, later on, he showed many kind and lovable sides to his character. Myung Suk always encourages Young Woo when she comes up with new ideas and continuously fights for Young Woo to be recognized as a real lawyer. He showcases profound professionalism and depth as he works through the legal cases with Young Woo and other rookie lawyers showing a new side of actor Kang, who has been widely seen as a comedic sidekick in the past. Recently, on NBC's 2 o'clock date news radio show, actor Kang Ki Young appeared as a guest and talked about his sudden popularity. I didn't expect the movie's popularity to reach this level. It doesn't feel real. I just think this is a movie that makes viewers feel comfortable. However, I didn't expect the viewership ratings to rise so high. Right after episode 1 and 2 aired, I bursted into tears. I think the film will go well and will make a difference as a mark in my life," 
Kang Ki Young shared. Despite the acclaim, Kong stays humble when looking back on his performance. The viewers might not know how nervous and shaky I was when delivering my lines in the earlier episodes. I tried to improve on these mistakes and play a more experienced looking attorney. It will take some time to let go of Jung, not only because of the success that the show has brought me, but because I spent so much time trying to understand the character, the actor told the Korea Herald. The way the star was propelled to even more fame by his appearance in Extraordinary Attorney Wu did not only boost his reputation, it also had benefits for his bank account. Reportedly, Young's net worth amounts to about 10 to 15 million US dollars, but his net worth will probably get much bigger by next year. You may know that he recently became a bit obsessed with his interior design of their new home after getting married. He appeared on NBC's Help Me Homes. His home shows large, white, clean interiors with modern furniture. You will even find a yard filled with zoysia grass. He has plenty of space for his family and pets to enjoy this luxury lifestyle. He often allows his Instagram followers sneak peek into his life, plus hilarious and cute moments with castmates. With rumors that a Wu Young Wu sequel is coming, Kang said that he would be the first person to join the series. I always advocated for a second season while filming. I have no idea how the story will develop, but it will be an incredible experience to connect with such amazing creators, crew members, and actors once again. I hope to see all of them working on the next season, the actor said. Not only has he succeeded in his career, Kang Hee Young has also an adorable marriage. On May 25, 2019, Kang Hee Young held a private wedding with his girlfriend at his private residence in Yongin City, Gyeonggi Province. It is known that the two dated for more than two years before getting married. The actor's wedding was held magnificently at his private residence in Gyeonggi. Sharing about his life partner at SBS Power FM's program Choi Hua Jung's Power Time, Kang Hee Young expressed, After dating my first love for two and a half years, we got married in May. I thought it was quite funny but she was even funnier than me. Before that, the actor also revealed that he fell in love with his girlfriend the moment she held his hand. In the past, although he did not intend to reveal to the media about his relationship with his wife, when he put himself in her position, he thought she would be disappointed when he had to hide his love. The identity as well as the face of the actor's wife is rarely revealed to avoid media attention. The two have now embarked on the greatest journey as they now have a son together. He was born on November 12, 2021, Fans have been lucky to share small moments on Instagram with Kang Ki and are thankful. What do you like about this actor? What is your favorite K-drama of his? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching!